G'day YouTube, Internet Citizens, and a very special g'day to Ivy and Lucy, my two daughters. Ipswich Gamer here once again. Uh, we're going to be playing a bit of Don't Starve. I'm going to see how long I can survive for my two daughters. This is going to be a bit of a metaphor. Um, yeah, because I haven't seen them for so long. Um, yeah, see if I can actually survive it. Now I'm going to be doing this, uh, you saw my, sorry in the intro, my last record was 204 days. I'm going to see if I can beat that. Um, now I'm going to be using techniques outlined by, uh, is he, Yakitsu Times I think his name is. Uh, he's quite good at Don't Starve, uh, taught me everything I know about Don't Starve, so yeah we'll use his his um, strategies. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend the first few days wandering around. Um, I'm playing as uh, Willow because Willow is my favourite character. Um, and yeah, I just like Willow because although she hasn't got the highest sanity, she is um, immune to fire and she can actually. Uh, how do I say it? She can manage her sanity quite well uh, just by lighting a fire and yeah, and that's that's it. So we are wandering around and we are looking for resources like seeds and berries. Um, I could pick flowers, in fact I will. Grab a few flowers because we want to make a garland eventually as we're running around. Looks like we're at the edge of the map here. Tab to bring up the map? Yep, okay. No worries. Yeah, so we're going to go through the exploratory phase, so what's known as the exploratory phase. Okay, so let's get cracking. There's a rabbit. I'm not going to eat any rabbits, or I'm going to try not to eat any rabbits. Um, of course, if the opportunity arises, I won't say no. You know, why would you not say no to uh, good, decent feed? Although, rabbit doesn't actually give you much long line on the food. So yeah, I usually don't bother with them. Um, I usually trap rabbits to summon... What's his name? Krampus, I think he's called? Yeah, which uh, we shall see a bit later. The other thing I'm looking for is a bit of flint, so I can actually make an axe, which will be helpful for us. Um, there's a carrot, I'll have that too. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm going to pick up these sticks and grass and whatnot. Not that I need them. There's some flint. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, I can build an axe finally. That's alright. We don't need one just yet, but we will get one eventually. There's a few flowers. Grab this, grab that. And let's grab this other bit of flint. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, where'd that carrot go? There's that carrot. Thank you. Hmm. So we're gonna try not to try not to starve. <laughs> That's the idea of this game. Uh, yeah, don't starve. <laughs> oh, night is coming. No worries. We're right. Let's eat this carrot. I'm getting a bit hungry. All right. Yeah, we're almost got enough for a garland. And that's enough for a garland, so let's make the garland. There we go. 
that should control our sanity a little bit at least. Alright, let's continue exploring. Now, night is coming, night is dangerous. Uh, you get a thing called Charlie, who is similar to the Gru, for those who have played the, um, I think it was Rogue had the Gru on it. A very old game called Rogue. Actually, let's craft ourselves an axe. And the other thing we'll need is a pickaxe, but we won't actually use that just yet. Alright, let's go along this road. And let's start actually exploring. So what have we found so far? Not much. Alright, let's continue. There's some bees. I hear bees. Yeah, there's some bees. Awesome. I'm coming into the late night shortly, but that's okay. We shall continue on through the light. Being willow means we do not have to worry about crafting torches, which is a good thing. Because, yeah, I always forget to craft torches. <laughs> I'm hopeless. <laughs> Let's grab these berries. Let's actually eat some. There we go. And let's continue. Now we're looking for a few things. Um, one being the beefaloes. We found the bees, which is good. So we've got to look for the beefalo herds. Uh, how big is this grass? It looks pretty big. Let's actually check this out. See if we can find any beefalo. It looks like there's rabbits here. Hello, beefaloes. Are you here? And we're looking for a swamp and, of course, the pig king. Now we're getting really close to... Oh, there's a spider den. Uh, I'm going to avoid that for now. No need to get any tunnels with spiders. Go away, spider. I don't want to know you. <laughs> it's good to see that there's spiders around, at least. Alright, so we're looking for the pig king as well. Pig King, of course, will give us gold, which can be used for crafting all sorts of goodies, give you unlimited shovels and picks and axes. Um, there it is. Let's get out our, our little lighter and let us continue down this way. So the Pig King, and we're looking for a swamp as well. Hey, it's cold already. That's not good. I didn't know that would happen. I must have updated that and patched it in. Let's hope I don't freeze to death. I must start you right on the start of winter. Right on the end of winter. Of course we'll need to prepare for winter. Um, which is something that we'll have to go through. Which is why I'm doing this exploratory phase to start with. Alright, so... There's more bees, that's good. Uh, might have to actually find some food. Let's so find some food. No, I don't want to go down there. Uh, there's got to be a bit of food around here somewhere. Here's a road. Let's stick to the road. Roads are good to stick to. Because they often lead somewhere. There's spiders. Lay spiders. Lay spiders. Where does this road lead? Oh, well, we didn't freeze, which is good. <laughs> we warmed up. I don't know if that had anything to do with the lighters. Cool. Is that a ham bat? It is, too. We'll take that. That'd be a good weapon. Take it back to normal. Alright, let's see where... Oh, here's Pig Village. Pig Village? Pig King? There's the Pig King! Awesome! Check one item off the list. And it looks like he's close to a spider lair. Great. Alright, do you have any food around here, guys? Food? Please? Food? No food? Oh. Pity I can't eat this ham bat. <laughs> That'd be nice. Anyway. Let's continue. Uh, they got a nice flower garden here, which will be useful bit later on. Come down here and get some um, some butterflies. What we're looking for now is one of those nicer biomes like that. That'll probably do. That's got to have some food in it. Up near the beehives here. Alright, let's continue up. That's an evil flower. We don't want much to do with that just yet. 
Spider's Lair, that's the one we passed last night. Ah, let's continue up. A bit of grass. Grass not quite there. Yes, here we go. We'll take a bit of that flint. Let's grab these carrots. And we'll probably chow down on them pretty much straight away. Let's hit the berries first. Carrot and carrot. Yeah, let's grab the grass. Doesn't matter. You can never have too much grass in this game. <laughs> Some people have called this game a grass collecting simulator. <laughs> kind of weird, but yeah. Alright, we're going to follow that path in a little while. Um, there doesn't seem to be much around here. Still looking for a rock biome as well. That's the other thing we have to find. Find a rock biome, then we can get some gold. The necessary gold that we need. Okay, so follow this path up here. See where this goes. Looks like it just circles around back to, yeah, back to that main path. Yep. Alright, let's continue back up here. There's some berries we can grab. There we go. It's more carrots. Good. I'll grab them. Thank you. More flint. There's a rabbit. Not interested. <laughs> Rabbits are pretty much not worth it. There's a grass biome up there. Oops. Is there another carrot down here that I wanted to grab? No, more flint. Okay. Let's go around and see that grass biome. Get these carrots. There we go. Keep ourselves a little bit fed. Okay, so we're coming down on night time on day two. Grab these berries. Uh, Alright, let's check this grass biome out, see if we can find the beefaloes. Beefaloes being another resource we need to find. Come on, beefaloes. Ah, uh, looks like it's rabbits. Damn it. <laughs> There's the ring thing. I'm not really looking for that right now. Hmm. This could be promising. They're beefaloes here. Please be beefaloes. Beefaloes? Beefaloes. No, it doesn't look like there's beefaloes here. This looks like a big grassland biome. Oh well, doesn't matter. The search continues. Alright, where do we want to go next? Uh, let us let's just continue around here. There's a beefalo. Hello, buddy. Just the one of you? No, there's three. Only the three. That's a bit of a worry. There might not be enough of you guys. Alright, so we've got manure. There we go. Yes, I'm over here. I'm not going to hurt you guys. Yeah, you don't hurt the beefalo. You don't hunt them. You don't kill them. You don't eat them or anything. Um, because they're useful for other reasons, like manure. They are excellent for manure. Yes. And of course, manure is useful for... Oh, here's some more beefaloes by the look of it. I'll grab this manure while I'm here. Where are you? There they are. Although there's three that know. There's more beefalo. Good. So we know where the beefalo are. Mark X. <laughs> Alright, so now we just need to find the swamp. And we should be right as rain to start setting up. Oh, and we got to find rocks. Because we need gold. We need a lot of gold. Come on, how do you go? Alright. So let's see if we can find those rocks. Let's follow this path up. Have we followed the path? No, that's a new path. Let's go. And it's coming up on the, the dead dark of night. So we're going to have to get out our lighter again on day two. There's more bees there. That's good. Bees are good. We can set up beehives. So let's continue up here. And hopefully... 
we can find the rocks that we need and the swamp. Swamp's important because it gives you reeds, reeds makes paper and paper is used in all sorts of really lovely yummy recipes. So it's, it's fairly important that we do find the swamp. I think it's called the marsh actually but I call it the swamp, the swamp's good enough. There we go, let's grab these berries and let's have something to eat. There we go. Alright, let's get out our lighter. We're going to find our way around there. Okay, so let's continue around here. So we're going to find our way up there. Hopefully we can find the... find a swamp or a rock biome. Or at least some gold to mine. Good to see some um, glow bugs out. Glow bugs are handy as well, but you can capture them. Okay, still looking for gold and swamps. Is that a path? It is a path. Good, 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 good. We'll come back to that in daytime, which shouldn't be too far off. Oh, and we've hit the top. What have we got down here? Some flint. I'll grab that. Berries. Grab them. Looks like we're in a good biome. Oops, come on. Grab them. Is it daytime yet? Must be daytime soon. Let's grab these sticks. There we go. Didn't grab it. Come on. There we go. Alright, so exploration phase should be coming to an end fairly soon. Grab the berries. Oh, there's another berry bush up there. Let's go grab that quickly so we can have our brekkie. Berry breakfast. That's a very good breakfast. That's a carrot up there. Cool. I'll have that. Thank you. Alright, so we found the Peking, we found beefaloes. We are looking for still rocks and swamps. Hopefully we can find them today. There's some gold. Let's see if we can find our way around there so we can grab that. We're gonna need a fair oh there oh it's a patchwork biome. Hate them. They're pretty useless, except you find. Oh, there's a rock biome. There we go. So we'll be able to go around there and mine out that gold. Good, good, good. If we can find our way around there. <laughs> Grab that carrot. Is that very. Oh, there's a tall bird. We're going to leave him alone. I know tall birds can be good for meat, but I am not going to mess with him. I like to leave the tall birds be. There's no point in risking. I think the risk to reward ratio isn't that good for tall birds, so leave them be. Let's munch out on some berries. It's a koalaphant track. No, I don't want to take on a koalaphant just yet. Wait till I'm a bit better equipped. You, know, need a, you don't need a boomerang, but it helps to have a boomerang to take on the koalaphant. Alright, here is our rock biome. There is the Torberg nest, but we're going to leave that alone and we're going to mine this gold. Yes, gold, good. Hey, leave me alone. Ouch, that hurt. Go away. Go away. I need those rocks. God damn it. Let's quickly grab these rocks and get out of here. Yes, I'm not coming near your nest. Leave me alone, Mr. Torbird. Yes, I'm not coming anywhere near your nest. Oh, there's another nest. Huh. There we 
go. Oh, two gold. Good. Oh, he's after me. I'm out of here. Leave me alone, tall bird. I'm not in any danger to you. I'm just after the rocks. Go away. Go away. Nick off. I just want this gold, not your nest. Oh, he's after me again. Oh, please. Please, Mr. Torbird. Oh, dear. Oh, that's him. Hey, there's a touchstone. Cool. Oh, activate it. There we go. Let's grab this gold. It might be a bit easier to get. There we go. A bit easier to get. And toying with those tall birds, which I'm going to have to go back there anyway, so... There's a swamp. Brilliant. It's actually... Oh, is that a swamp? Brilliant. We've got everything. Everything we need to survive. Okay, let's hope this tall bird's gone. I'm not after your nest, so don't worry. Let's grab the spear. There we go. Let's go up here and mine this gold. Night's coming, and we're almost ready. We've just got to get some gold. So we've got six gold. We need a whole bunch more. Uh, grab these rocks. Grab this flint. We need a lot more rocks, too. There's some more. Oh, they're going to sleep. There's lots of tall birds. Um, let's make another pickaxe, real quick, there we go, need more gold, oh there's rope there, that can be handy, let's have a torch, yeah I don't use torches, alright, let's see if we can sneak some of this gold past this tall bird, there we go, there we go, that's ten. No, I don't mind that one, mind this one. Here we go. There we go. Uh, I was hoping to find Chester, but it looks like we're not going to find Chester. So, yeah, that's a bit of a pity. No, I'm not after your nest. No, I'm not after your nest. Leave me alone. Let's see if I can get the last little bit of gold before night falls. Doesn't look like I am. So, that's alright. We're still a couple of gold short. Okay. So that tall bird's there nesting. That's fine. Let's go down here and see if there's any more gold uh, we can get. Doesn't look like it's gonna oh, here's some. There we go. Okay. Well, we can come back to that. Where are we? There. So there's a tall bird nest right there. We'll have to go around that. Yeah, so let's go around that. There should be the swamp around here somewhere. Just here. Let's just grab one reed. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, it's survival. Oh no. What have I done? No, 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 no. Second guy. Alright, guys, I'm back, and it seems as though I had a bit of an issue there by double clicking the border. So let's get back to what I was trying to do. Uh, compass, backpack, backpack. Science machine. I need a science machine to do that, so no worries. Um, so we're just going to wait out this night. Um, I am going to call this episode, call an end to this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye Ivy, bye Lucy, bye everyone. And next time we should be setting up our base, maybe explore a bit of the swamp. So, see you then. Alright, bye guys.